<laughs> hmm. I'm feeling myself. Different type of type of flaw, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Seth got the waves. OC, 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 OC. Shawty all on my body, might pop me a molly, cause I know you want a dick first. Spin the block up by low, we might clap with some Gucci, cause I know you want a big burp. I'm on a low, she said she really wanted to. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Ray Maya channel. If you're new, hey girl, what's up? What's poppin'? If you're not new and you're returning, hey boo, what's good? Thank you for watching. All right, so. <laughs> I don't know if y'all heard, but I'm officially 19. <laughs> All right, no, but for real. So we're just gonna do it. Get ready with me. <clears throat> I'm going out to eat. Oh, okay. Still looking a little late. I'm going out to eat. I'm going to Shaking Crab. Um, around like 2:30 ish. It's 12:03 right now. So I'm gonna just do a basic moisturizer. I usually use oil as my um, ooh, my moisturizer, but I don't want my makeup to like separate fast or anything like that. So I'm just gonna use my pink ponds, which is for dark marks and everything. So I wanted to, I wanted this to be kind of like a talk through, get ready with me type of situation. Phenomenal! So, I wanted to come out with mirrors like this, but just a little bit smaller. Would you guys buy these? Like, would these be useful for y'all? Like, I don't know. Because I really want to come out with some mirrors. I'm always using mirrors. I don't know if I should come out with these mirrors or, like, compact mirrors, per se. Or both. I don't know which one is even more important. I don't even know if one is even more important than the other, if that makes sense, you know? Um, comment your feedback down below. I'm going to be toning with my Aveda Botanical Kinetics Skin Toning Agent Spray. I'm going to be doing my eyebrows with this NYX Eye Pencil in the color Medium Brown. And I'm going to be concealing them with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toffee. Okay, so to prime my face, I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild Matte Primer. I've been using this primer for two years. I really love this primer. It keeps my makeup matte. Well, it keeps my skin matte because I am an oily girl. Sometimes it really depends on the season and it depends on like what I'm doing to my skin personally. But this has really helped tame the oil. So I recommend getting this. And it's cheap too. I think it's like a dollar or two dollars. I don't know. They probably raised the price. This is a little old between you and me. I'm gonna prime my eyelids with my LA Girl Pro Concealer and the color Toffee. So I've really been loving the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. This is in the color 112 Cocoa. I really like to apply my foundation with a brush just because I feel like it goes on so much better and it doesn't freaking eat up all of your foundation. Oh, do y'all like my earrings? 
I think I want to start selling some earrings like this. They kind of heavy, so you know they feel like money. They don't feel cheap. They don't look cheap. But yeah, I'm gonna get into selling jewelry pretty soon because I'm a jewelry girl. Like I really like jewelry a lot. I feel like it brings together a look. Yeah. That's pretty much it for foundation. Now I'm gonna move on to concealer. Again, I'm using Toffee. And a tip that I have is to not put the concealer directly underneath your eye. Give it like a little bit of space. So that this prevents like crease lines underneath your eyes. You know how you always get those crease lines? This is gonna prevent that. And I don't conceal too much. I'm not trying to turn myself two shades lighter okay i'm just brightening up my face where the light will naturally hit it See, that gave me just a little, a nice little glow. Um, this is my favorite palette for everything. You get your foundation shade, your contour shade, your what's the other thing called? Concealer shade, and it's the Sephora and Pantone Universe palette. I have both of them so i have the lights and i have the medium to i have the light to medium and I have the medium to dark and i'm gonna be using this color to contour as y'all can see it's pretty much almost gone this is the color that i contour with when i do contour i really don't know what else to contour Ooh, I forgot how to do this, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. Do you blend it down or up? <laughs> no. I'm gonna just blend it where it is. Just to be safe. I'm gonna spray my brush. I mean, beauty blender. With some water. This is gonna help with the movement of any product that you need to blend. I think it's supposed to blend it up with it, guys, because I'm getting a little. Uh, muscle memory back so this frontal is lifting a little bit which I'm excited about cuz I got a lot of makeup on it just from wearing makeup the past couple of days so I'm gonna get to reinstall it if you guys want to see the reinstallation then comment down below I would love to do it for you guys or if you would even like to see how I even got highlights comment down below maybe for a future wig i can show you guys how i do highlights on it now i am going to bake i don't really bake per se but i'm gonna set my makeup let's say that first i'm going with my translucent powder by hard candy and i'm gonna set my brows i don't like shiny brows okay and like i said i have oily skin my eyebrows will get shiny it does not matter the weather Okay, especially if makeup is on my skin, it's gonna get oily. Then I'm gonna use, I'ma call it banana powder, even though it's not banana powder. It's the Bake Bright and Set Powder by Hard Candy. It's this yellow color, but for now on, I'ma just keep calling it banana powder, okay? Because, yeah, I'ma use it to cut off my contour. And then set the places that I concealed as well. Okay. Make sure that under your eye is blended before you go and set it. You do not want to go and set creases. That's not cute. And like I said, I don't really like to set. Um, Just because at the end of the day, that's more blending for me. I do not. Flashback is not my friend. Okay. When the flash is on me, I don't have no flashback. And that's because I take my time and I blend my makeup. So if you let your 
powder sit on your face for mad long that's gonna be more work for you at the end of the day because you're gonna have to blend that makeup you're gonna have to blend that in so it doesn't give you flashback i mean it doesn't really matter during the day but you never know people still can put the flash on you during the day so i'm just gonna brush this off see what i mean i'm gonna have to blend that in because all of that did not want to come up Powder also makes you look a little ghostly. <laughs> so, you really have to be careful. Like, if you don't know what you're doing with powder, then just put it on. What I suggest is tapping it into the container and just doing that. All over your makeup, spray it, pat it in. Instead of putting it in specific spots and letting it set. That's just a tip for me. Something I used to do, actually. So, I'm not just saying stuff just to say it. Now I'm gonna spray my face with this Hard Candy Matte Sheer Envy um, Setting Spray. It controls oil and minimizes pores. Next, I'm going to apply blush to my face because you know I want to look a little cute, cute. Let me use this brush, and this is my Mary Kay cheek, Mineral Cheek Color, that's what they call it, and Cherry Blossom. I really like this color, it does a lot for my skin. Okay, compliments it really nicely, I think. So, I like to put it on my cheeks and I like to drag it up. Just so it's not too like focused in that one area. And I don't put too much, as y'all can see. I don't wanna look a little I don't wanna look crazy now. I'm put a little bit more. Okay. Now after that, now we are going to make ourselves nice and golden. So I'm gonna use my Milani. Sheer lights. Wait, 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 wait. My Milani Rose Glow Stellar Lights Highlight Palette. I don't know why I just said what I just said before, but that is not the name. And I'm gonna mix these two colors to get the perfect, the perfect glow. Yes, ladies. All right, y'all ready? this is why I don't like these brushes because it either applies too much product in one spot or not enough but either way it's okay because I'm gonna blend this y'all should know by now me and blending we're best friends I do not play when it comes to makeup because you can look crazy real fast okay you can look crazy real fast all right all right all right no i'm done with this brush <laughs> i tried i'm gonna use this brush now it's an angle brush it's called a shader so i'm guessing it's for eyeshadow but i don't use it for that let me get the bridge of my nose let me look up so y'all can see I'm gonna get this part of my nose. I guess that's like the button part. And I'm also get like the sides. The nostrils. Uh. Now I'm gonna put highlighter under my brows. Now we're gonna blend everything in again. So I'm just gonna spray my face. And then take my beauty blender and just blend. I think I'm gonna have to fix the highlighter spot so, on my cheeks because I, you know, it's not working out guys. I'm gonna take this brush which is a little bit more like spread out and stuff. 
And then just put some highlighter on, just so I can blend it out a little bit better. I'm gonna wipe my lips off with a little water and a paper towel. Now I'll put highlighter on my cupid's bone. So I'm gonna line my lips with my medium brown pencil that I use to do my eyebrows. Then I'm gonna go in with my lip gloss from the Rain Maya collection in Pink Lava, period. All right, it's almost done. Is my nose flaking? Ignore. <laughs> but I'm gonna go in with my Pink Lava lip gloss. This has no scent because I know some people have sensitive, like they're sensitive to smells and stuff. So I wanted to do two glosses that don't have no scent. I have this one and my clear one has no scent as well. I have one that smells like green apple and I have one that smells like nothing. So best of both worlds for everybody. Yes, look at how beautiful this gloss is. It feels good too, trust me. People play too much. I'm not playing with this world. Period. All right, and now we're gonna move on to the lashes. So for the lashes, I'm gonna be testing some new lashes actually that I'm thinking about selling. Um, If you guys know me, you guys know like I only wear my lashes now. I don't like beauty supply style lashes. They don't even come close to the quality of the lashes that I wear. But I wanted to get some new lashes i wanted to get some styles that can fit for everybody and all that good stuff so i have some shorter ones that i'm bringing to the party maybe if the test goes well you feel me then i have um a version that's a little bit longer but they kind of the same like style this one has more hairs but they kind of the same style if y'all see what i'm talking about and then Oh, sorry. And then this one reminds me of my pair that I always wear. That's called I Dare You. And it's my old one or whatever. But I always wear I Dare You. I really love those lashes. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, let me see. I don't know which one I wanna wear. Oh, guys, I have candy. See, this is why they call now and later. I bought this a couple days ago and I'm having them later <laughs> this is how I get my lashes on and strong no cap with the strong part these be holding it down see y'all let me show y'all my glasses because the way that these sit on my face is like I cannot wear really long lashes oh they're dirty but they sit super close so it's like I need lashes that I can wear with my glasses too. Lashes for girls with glasses. Ah! <laughs> I don't know why I thought this was a good idea because I can't really. Ooh, that's more my speed. These are cute. These ones got it. <laughs> those ones got it. I don't know if my glasses are going to be able to fit on with that, but those ones got it. So I'm going to be using my duo glue. Y'all know that I always use um, hair glue. But since I'm going to be testing these lashes, I would like to not use hair glue. Just so it's easier to take off and stuff and it doesn't pull out my natural lashes. Because I really have a problem with growing my lashes back. And then as soon as I put on like strip lashes, I pull them right out. So it comes with the black and the clear. I'm going to be using the black. I really have to think about like which one do I want to use. I'm gonna use the black one. 
but i do recommend like if you're not really good with putting on lashes then use the clear one because the black will get on your eyeshadow and everything so be mindful of that but it's always good to have you know an option a twofer <laughs> yo who used to say that to me one of my teachers used to say that to me and that used to be so like corny like why are you saying that <laughs> It was one of my English teachers talking about something about a sentence. You put two things in and you get a two for it. Like, bye. Then I'm going to put on my mascara. You know, the NK makeup mascara. It's not too expensive because I'm not really putting on mascara for my natural lashes. I'm putting it on so that these false lashes stick better. This is why I don't like mascara, bro. This is exactly why. It's never a time where this fails. Never. It never fails. Like, I'm not to brighten that up. Because do y'all see how dark that looks right now? This is just my brush that had concealer on it. Now back to these lashes. So what I like to do is I like to put on the middle first and then do the end. By doing it that way, it helps you see if your lash is on the way that you want it to be. Come on, man. Alright, so for the idiots like me, if you do get glue on your eyeshadow, leave it, let it dry. I'm going to show y'all a trick. I'm gonna show y'all a beautiful trick. You know what though? I never tried the black duo rule, so I don't really know how it's supposed to work or whatever. But I know that the clear one gets really sticky. So I guess I was just expecting that with this one too, since it's the same company. Guys, add me on Instagram and Snapchat, period. So y'all can see what I'm doing with my life. When I'm not on here, I'm really on Snapchat. I'm not really on Instagram, but I'm trying to be on Instagram more. Just because, you know, that's where a lot of people network and stuff. So follow me, help me out, and all that good stuff. Support is free. Y'all really know. These lashes are really cute. Ooh, ooh, y'all. I don't know about y'all, but I look like a whole other person <laughs> just because of the lashes. All right, so once the glue is dry, you can rub it off like this. But since I have eyeshadow on, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna pick at it with my tweezers. I really hope I'm not talking too fast because I really feel like. Sometimes I could talk mad fast. Hopefully I'm going at an okay pace. Alright, now I'm going to try to scratch it all. But I'm not really like scratching myself, if that makes sense. Okay. Take two for the right lash. I also like to push my lashes into like my eyelid if that makes sense just so it gets closer to the lash line okay now back to the eyes ladies because y'all know I wasn't done yet and gentlemen if there's guys watching hey what's up and I'm gonna be using my NYX glitter primer just because it has like a sticky um feel to it so i'm hoping this is gonna help it stick
ain't seen a minute. I wanna fuck, she said she with it. I'm down in the gut, she knock on my fitted. The hand in the body, she know I ain't kidding. Shooting my shot, never miss like I'm pippin'. Head to my toe, baby girl, I be dripping. Yerk 30, no lean in my system. Yerk 30, got your body on the rhythm. Let me bring y'all closer. Now that we did our makeup, we're gonna move on to hair. Okay, so how I sleep is I sleep with a headband on and I put my bonnet on. I don't put any, um, what you would call it? scrunchies in my hair because that will create like dents and stuff that I don't necessarily need for the hairstyle that I have I did put some curls in it um three days ago now I think it is wait no four days ago now most of them are still in some of them are not I did these with a flat iron so Yeah, I'm gonna just be fixing with a fly iron. This side is falling more into waves, and this side is staying curls. So, I don't know why that is, but those are the highlights that I did in my wig. It was a rushed job, but I still did it. They still came out pretty nice and all that. All that there, all that there. So do y'all see what I mean? Like this is falling into a wave. This is still, these are still curls. I hate doing my hair on myself because I can't freaking see anything. I'm gonna use my slick stick. This is the same slick stick that I use all the time. I like the little lift that you can get here with the hot comb a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So I'm going to take a clip, you know, I'm just going to clip this back so that while the hair is cooling off, it still can hold this shape that I like. And while that's cooling, I'm just gonna put on my outfit. I'm gonna come right back. Ooh, my hands are slippery because I just put lotion on. So I just added a clip that says sweet on it. And this is the final look. Oh, yeah, no, I gotta show my myself <laughs> nah, but. thank you guys for watching my video please don't forget to like comment subscribe and comment down below even though i already said comment but still we're gonna say it again comment down below um follow me and add me on my social media account so that you guys know what i'm doing when i'm not on here you feel me 
yeah thank you guys for watching i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i hope that you guys tried this out at home if you do tag me on instagram boo tag me on snapchat it's whatever do whatever because i'm gonna see it either way so yeah thank you guys for watching bye Mad body, she be low key. She asked me what's my name and I'm like, oh, say. I show my shot just like I'm Kobe. She said, hold on with him.